G'day and welcome to Ancient Roman Terms. Today we'll be looking at the Cursus Honorum. In Latin, it literally means course of officers. It was a ladder where you could be appointed to different public offices with varying military and administrative roles. Usually patricians of the senatorial rank took part. Each office held an age restriction, a minimum age you had to be before you could apply. This led to competition known as suo anno, or in his year, where patricians sought to be the youngest possible age for each office. Firstly, there was castor. You had to be 30 years old, although patricians could be 28. Castors were financial administrators. They were also second in command to a governor in the provinces. They could also be a paymaster for a legion. Next were adults, with a minimum age requirement of 36 years. Adults were in charge of public buildings in Rome, as well as the food and water supplies for the city. They could act as mercantile judges, and also were in charge of organising the games. Most importantly, however, they were in charge of the public temples. In Latin, aids means temple. Next came the praetors. In order to become a praetor, you had to either have become an aedile or caster, and be at least 39 years old. Praetors were judges, who were elected annually. And if there was no consul present, they were in charge of the forces of the city. Once your term as praetor was over, you could go out into the provinces and be a pro-praetor and command legions in the provinces. If you did this, you held pro-praetor imperium. If you're not sure what imperium is, have a look at my other video within this series. Next you had consuls. This really was the summit of power and prestige when it came to the cursus honorum. Two consuls were elected annually. They really held the political agenda for that year. They controlled the most important provinces throughout the empire. They commanded the large-scale armies whenever there was a campaign. And they alternated monthly as chairman of the Senate. Consuls were such an important position that often calendar years were referred to based on who had been elected consul in that year. After your term as consul, you could then go out and be the governor of a province and hold proconsular imperium. The final position you could have as part of cursus honorum was censor. These were elected for 18 months rather than the usual 12 for each position and were elected every five years. It was mainly an admin role with no military command. Censors were in charge of holding a census and of splitting citizens into voting groups on the basis of income and tribal affiliation. While not as powerful as consul, it was a position of great honour. So that's the cursus honorum. Any questions? Comment below.